What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are playing Dungeon Quest Revised Edition. So thank you all for joining me uh, for this gameplay. Now why we are playing this? It is because I put a, a poll on my community tab on YouTube and you decided that you want to see me playing this game next. So it was a close call between this and Castles of Burgundy. And I must say I'm glad you picked this one because I really like this game even though I don't know why because by all definitions this game should not be the game for me I should really not like it but for some reason I do so yeah in the interest of this video being fast uh, I did not uh, I did not Jesus I picked character uh, before we started the game uh, so uh, we are play playing brother Garin he has uh, 13 health points, uh, he has some special abilities that when they come in play I will tell you what they do. And I also got the rune of healing so I can heal myself. I have 3 strength, 5 agility, 4 defense and 9 luck for testing all kinds of different things. And basically in this game what you do, you are exploring the dungeon with these tiles. You will be putting these tiles on the board and you are looting around the dungeon trying to score as much find as much gold as you can and then run out now one thing that's important to mention in a solo game there is some stuff that is different like the fight is completely different against monsters usually two players are fighting with cards but over here you are just throwing dice and uh, random stuff decides you know and i like it i don't know why but i like it so you do that and uh, the main thing is that i have to come to this middle room this treasure room in the middle i have to pick up at least one treasure from here and then i can run out and possibly survive the game lasts as this, this many rounds and once we get over here we will roll the dice and if we are unlucky it's going to end either here or somewhere around here who knows so basically that is that uh, you have uh, two phases in this game you have a status phase if you are like poisoned or stuff you will lose health and once you uh, once you go through that phase then it's the action phase and in action phase you can either move or you can search the rooms or you can explore the rooms or you can uh, uh, do uh, what, what else what else can you do Jesus. Uh, I will be going through rule books a lot because uh, for some so for some strange reason I tend to forget lots of rules there is lots of small rules in this game so I will be just going through this a lot so we have a move we have a search and we can enter the catacombs and try to find uh, find the rooms different ways you know go underneath the dungeon stuff like that you will see when we come to that okay before we start I want to tell you a few things now first of all uh, I am uh, rummaging a lot of time through the rulebook for some strange reason this game the rules for this game escape me from time to time because there's all kinds of little rules that I tend to forget and I wanted to do as little mistakes as possible hopefully none but we'll have to see so yeah uh, that's what you have to have in mind when you are watching this video I do this for the entertainment purpose so this is not like for you to teach you how to play the game or anything so be aware of that also uh, i know that my shirt is different uh, everything looks different because uh, i am filming this after uh, after i already edited the video that's the reason uh, I, I was as i was watching the video the idea popped in my head maybe i could throw in a commentary here and there so i decided to try it out and see how it works so if you like it hopefully if you like it it will look good and if not what can you do we are going to try and do better next time so yeah sit back uh, enjoy yourself uh, watching this video and uh, let's go so first turn we are going to so we are starting right so first turn we are going to explore over here and we explore this space which is like a cross which is cool because we can go all kinds of different ways and we encounter a dungeon icon which means we draw this card and it says ambush encounter a monster so right out of the bat we encounter a monster now before encountering the monster so this is the deck of monsters we're just going to shuffle it and before encountering the monster i can choose and uh, run away from the monster if i manage to run away from the monster nothing happens but uh, if i don't I have to fight it and uh, then I can't escape it uh, either way he kills me or I kill him 
so I have just have to check out because when playing solo that is happen a little bit different than usual so in attempting escape I have to test my agility which is 5 so that means that uh, I have to throw two dice and get five or less which is <laughs> probably not going to happen number of wounds equal to the monster's escape penalty then proceed to fight yeah so and if I fail then I get to uh, receive even more wounds but uh, if I want to fight him you know what I'm gonna fight him because that's uh, that's way easier to do so we are just going to reveal the monster now we revealed a skeleton the skeleton has uh, two escape penalty but this is not important right now because we did not try to escape and we, he has two health so we are just going to roll one die and depending what number what number we get that's uh, what's going to happen so on a number two i think on a number two when i throw a two one or two i suffer a wound so i get one wound from him and you i just just to clarify one thing in this game in, mo in s most fantasy flight games for some strange reason when you receive damage you are actually adding tokens to your board to your sheet or however you want to call that player board that you have in front of you usually you deduct tokens from your health you take the how many tokens you ever have at the start uh, but over here actually you add so i am not adding health actually i am giving myself damage because as soon as i collect 15 or 13 13 health uh, tokens i am dead actually no i'm not super alive continue rolling and four 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 means that me and the monster each suffer one wound so me and the monster and we roll again six that means that monster suffers suffers two wounds which would get him to three which means he is dead so we move him aside and we won and that's that the first turn is ended and the second turn i will explore this part of dungeon i will put a token so i can uh, know that i can't explore anymore and i find an empty room nothing happens which is most unfortunate and then the next turn goes and i am going to explore over here and let's take this tile for example and uh, oh it has this uh, like uh, for uh, the thing that i cannot pronounce but uh, it is called wait i will find it and i will try to uh, sound normal while i say it portcullis portcullis it is basically like these uh, metal doors and then the I have to test uh, strength if I'm not mistaken for moving to if a player attempts to move through it or, or a hole containing one or more of those he must first test strength so I need to test strength and when you do tests you throw two dice always if I'm not mistaken but I just want to check it out as I said I played this game a lot but still I, I find myself lost in the rules for some reason, but I like this game so much. So yeah, players defending failing attribute test. Oh, attribute test. Here it is. So if the sum is uh, rolls to dice, yeah. If the sum is equal or less than my number, so I have to test my strength, which is three. So that means I will probably not be able to pass through this door, and I will have to go back. So yeah, I got five so i failed the test but i get one determination token and uh, each time you fail the test you get the determination tokens and that means that i can use these tokens to lower my result to succeed the test but i failed this one so i can't go over here and the next day goes and let's go over here and we get a corridor corridor is really great because it lets us move again uh, in the same turn which is really really good let's take this one and we get another portcullis or however it is uh, pronounced it is pronounced portcullis 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 just roll it off your tongue portcullis let's see if we can go through it or not 
Yeah, definitely not. But we get the termination token. And now, see, the thing is, uh, now we have to do a move after move after move action and go and try to explore this way or failing the test and trying to pass over here until we can pay enough determination tokens. And uh, when we are moving, I believe we are only moving one space. So it is either explore space or sorry, the chamber or unexplore space. Okay, so I'm just looking what 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 can I do? Chamber effects. Okay, so basically we have to do a chamber effect each time, but since we didn't enter these, we don't. Okay, so um, next turn we are moving here and we have to reveal another of these cards and it says hidden trap draw a trap card oh my god okay so we draw a trap card and trap card says poisonous snakes roll one die and suffer a number of wounds equal to the result see this game is really fun so we get two more wounds on our character that's okay we still have nine wounds okay the trap card is done and then we move over here and nothing happens because there's nothing to happen and that was when we move this and then we move this and now oh my god have i missed one of the moving so uh, let's see um, i was here and then i moved into one room and then i tried moving into second room and nothing happened then i moved onto the corridor and into second room and nothing happened and then i moved one back and then i moved here on this turn and now it's this turn and i move over here and let's take this one and it is oh really nice so i connect this room which is really good so another one of these is ambush again encounter a monster so i can try and escape it with agility of five and i have two tokens so i basically can probably escape if i test seven or something like that you know what i'm gonna fight it okay so he has four health and <laughs> i have nine health so let's see what happens okay number three uh, means that we both suffer one wound which means i get this five token and he suffers one wound and then i roll again five means that only monster suffers one wound that's really good so a six monster suffers two wounds and that's that means that he is dead whoops i kind of bumped the tokens here but doesn't matter so the monster is dead oh yeah so we kill the monster and i want to do a search over here no no that's that has to be on the next turn if i want to do it you know what i thought i'm going to try and run for, for the middle one and then we are going to search if there is time so we are going to explore over here and we get this room and there is doors over here on the on this side up here doors means that we can't pass through them uh, if we don't do something we have a door deck and but we are in a dungeon and we enter the dungeon and we find 40 gold coins our first gold for the game that is absolutely awesome so where are we going to keep this gold let's keep it over no we don't, you don't see it over here okay let's move these cards these are characters that you're not using and this is our gold so far so we have 40 gold collected that's really good so do we want to go through the doors yes let's go through the doors let's see what happens in an interest of showing you the most gameplay as i can i will try and pass through these doors over here and then we draw a door deck and it says door opens the door opens move into the adjacent chamber it's like that it's super easy there's really nothing greater or, or scary about it so we move into the another chamber and we of course then again move uh, the, we uh, take this chamber card 
this uh, dungeon deck dungeon deck card uh, if you exit dragon fire dungeon you may roll one die at the end of the game uh, one to three discard one of your other loot cards at random draw a treasure card if you roll four or six so we get bottle imp so this is a loot card so i'm just gonna keep it over here with us so let's just keep them here so you can see it more clearly okay so when i exit the dragon fire dungeon oh oh when i end exit the game i can use this card so it will either take one of my treasures or it, or it will give me treasures so oh yeah so that's really interesting uh, also appealing dice for dragon raid yeah uh, Oh, I could suffer one wound. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about my special ability. So my special ability is when I'm uh, testing for, for some attributes or something, I can, if I want to, suffer one wound to add three successes, to add three of these tokens that I can use then to maybe try and uh, uh, pass the test. So I could easily went through here, but yeah, it is what it is. So the next turn is up i'm going to go over here and we are going to take this one and this is really good i'm okay so now we are on a track so this one goes to the right so we are going to go and try to enter here but before that uh, let's take another dungeon the crypt we found the crypt you may explore the crypt for treasure if you choose to do so draw one quick crypt card so are we going to do that of course we are just because i want to show you the cards that show up you know and uh, the thing is that <laughs> searching crypts is probably not good but uh, let's see what we encounter a spectral storm you are assailed by an army of undead test strength if you fail suffer a number of wounds equal to half your remaining health rounded up okay so we need to test the strength and the strength is three so i'm hoping that i get a five because i'm willing to to take some of these tokens and or i can use my special ability each time you are about to make an attribute test you may suffer one wound to gain three determination tokens so i'm going to do that i'm going to suffer one wound and i'm going to get three of these determination tokens that means that I can lower my score for five points if I need to because I really don't want to suffer more wounds but I can't heal now because I have six wounds on myself so yeah of course I get a freaking 10 so I get the result is 10 and uh, with my five determination tokens I could lower it to five and my strength is three which means I still fail so I will take one determination token for failing the test. So don't go and search for the crypt boys. That's not good. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. And my remaining health is, uh, so is it rounded up? It's rounded up, of course it's rounded up. So my remaining health is seven and I need to suffer half, which is four. So I will just give this one and take another five and that leaves me at three health which is absolutely insane. What I meant was it was insanely bad for me. So I will not uh, do any more stupid decisions until I reach this middle thing over here. Yeah, <laughs> let's see how that sentence aged for me. Trust me, not well. Okay, uh, it is next turn. So what I am about to do is I am going to spend this rune of healing and I will heal up to six wounds so we are going to remove this card from play and I'm going to heal for six wounds which means I only have four wounds on me right now oh boy this is really really not good and then we are going to explore over here because we need to start to keep exploring and we found a wooden floor nothing like a dead end thing which is most unfortunate uh, i don't believe that this does nothing i think this is just a regular tile that has no 
special abilities or anything let me just quickly check out yeah it's just a dungeon room with no special abilities I can search maybe here or something like that okay so uh, yeah I entered the dungeon so we draw a dungeon card dungeon card says dead adventurer you may loot the body for one treasure if you choose to do so draw one corpse card and last time the corpse card hit us pretty good but uh, I think I am going to I think I'm going to try and uh, no, did, did we encounter? Wait. Oh no, we didn't encounter any dead adventurer yet. Oh, that's good. So draw one corpse card. Let's do that. Let's see what corpse cards have for us. So corpse card says, of course, old bones. It says that we roll one die. On one to three, nothing happens. On four to six, the bones spring to life and attack you. You encounter a monster. During this encounter, you cannot escape. Yeah. So I can't even try escaping. Okay, so one, two, three. We need one, two, or three. One, two, or three. Come on, come on. Yes, nothing happens. The old bones, we completely ignore them. Whew, that was close. Now, these these have dungeons. Uh, now, I can enter the dungeon, the catacombs. And I am not sure if I want to do that, but I could go through the catacombs pretty quickly over here. So, okay, so it's next turn. I have no status phases or anything, so I will go over here and uh, we have to encounter empty. The room is empty, nothing happens. Of course it's empty, we were already here. And uh, you know what? It's too far for me to go down here and everything, so I am going to go into the catacombs. If the way to the catacombs shows up and you are not mandatory to take it, you just have to use it really really carefully you just have to go there as a last resort as a pure necessity so don't go into catacombs if you don't have to i have to again reference a little bit of rules when going into the catacombs how it is done when during the action phase you may only choose one option if the entrance is present and it is Uh, let me just quickly go to the rules it will be a little bit of silence okay so basically we are uh, so we are going into a catacombs which means that we remove our miniature and we just put this token over here and we can't do move search or anything like that what we can do is we are going to go and draw through this catacomb deck and depending what we draw we are going to do that and s hopefully sometime we are going to come out of somewhere just jump out and then find something some some room or something so yeah basically that is that we are we entered the catacombs and now it's the next turn phase and we draw a card and it's hidden trap of course the first thing is the hidden trap but we keep these cards because they are important for exiting so we have to draw a trap card and trap card says it's poisonous gas roll one die subtract three from the result and suffer that many wounds then roll one die subtract three from the result and lose that many turns oh my god okay so five minus three is two that's how many wounds we get so i'm just gonna do it like this so now we are at six wounds and then i roll one die and get two and i subtract three so i don't lose any turns that's good so this poisonous gas <laughs> was really something okay so uh, it's my next turn i draw another catacomb cards and it says a sorcerer's bolt a sorcerer hurls a magic bolt in your direction. Test your luck. If you succeed, end your turn. If you fail, suffer a number of wounds equal to the amount by which you fail. And I have luck of 9, which is uh, completely passable. I mean, 9 is pretty easy to pass, so nothing happens. And uh, now I have 2 dungeon cards. 
and we are we are basically looking for uh, entrance out not entrance exit out so it's next turn we draw another catacomb card it says the room is empty nothing happens and it's next turn i guess we're going to die in the dungeons golem grab a golem lunges at you out of the darkness grabbing at your gear test the luck my luck is nine so this is going to be easy probably if you succeed end your turn if you fail suffer two wounds and discard the loot card if you have any so six and a six is 12 of course it is but but since it is nine what i need i can give up three of these tokens so one two three tokens and then i turn this into nine and i pass the test and nothing happens and the next turn starts and we draw another catacomb card greedy deep elf a suspicious looking deep elf becomes uh, beckons your you near you may discard any of your loot cards as a bribe if you do roll one die and multiply the result by 100 if the to this total is less than the gold value of the loot card you discarded she shows you the way out and you may immediately exit the catacombs if the total is higher she betrays you with a sudden attack suffer four wounds it says i may discard any of my loot cards as a bribe if i do roll one die but if i don't roll i, I never encountered this card so i'm really not sure how it works if you do roll one die and multiply it by 100 so i have only one i mean that's not even a loot card i think that i got that one yeah i mean everything is a loot card so i got that one from the doors or somewhere from the dungeon deck right okay so i may discard and she will show me no i will not just don't do that because if any number i throw and multiply by 100 will be more than this and if it's higher it will betray me so i don't want to do that i'm just gonna put it here and go to my next turn and <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so this is fun. So I find a gi gigantic diamond. It's worth 4,000 gold. And the thing is that I will probably die in the dungeon and will not be able to find it. Now I just need to keep it here because I need to count all these cards when I'm trying to get out. But uh, for now, I, uh, but then it will go over here. So. I found a gigantic diamond so yeah that's pretty nice okay next card hidden trap again with the traps come on isn't there enough traps for me already please okay okay another poisonous gas so I guess I'm probably going to die poisoned by gases in here roll one die and I see, oh my god it rolled way way off but just to not be a cheater it has a six on it which means that i suffer three wounds and three wounds means i'm at nine health out of the 13 which is completely insane now i roll this one and uh, i get two turns lost because of the poisonous gases and as i mentioned a time ago you probably realize right now that catacombs are bad learn from my example uh, okay, so <laughs> next turn starts and I guess we are going to die in the dungeons and as I predict it is going to be a short game 30 minutes probably as I'm looking now at the clock it's 26 minutes Okay, empty room nothing happens. So we are going to die with a lot of gold and uh, Then the next turn happens and come on, please be the way out. Okay, so it's a razor wing attack Roll one die and suffer a number of wounds equal to the result so oh my god so i have nine wounds so if i get four or more i am dead otherwise i'm alive so i get a three so i get a three wounds and i will take five and i will put back two and i am at one wound one wound until dying so i will probably die because there is no exit here which is most unfortunate that this was a terrible decision on my part but what can you do treasure chest when you exit the dragon fire dungeon 
Roll to dice. The chest has a gold value equal to the result multiplied by 100. Too bad I'm going to die with all that treasure and I will just leave it here just so we know where to go and we're going to play this to the end but now it is clear I am not going to win this one this game is pretty hard solo if I must say torch goes out while you are in a catacombs test while you are in the catacombs test luck at the start of your status phase if you succeed you relight your torch take your turn as normal if you fail end your turn so basically each time a new round starts and that's pretty easy i just have to test my luck and get nine or less so it's nine nothing happens i can go with my turn as usual and we have a vampire bite test agility or armor i guess we're going to test agility because it's five uh, if you fail keep this card when you exit the catacombs uh, no, I have to test uh, agility or armor, armor, whichever is lower. So armor, I have to test for armor. If I fail, I keep this card when I exit the catacombs. While you have this card, suffer one wood at the start of your status phase. So yeah, next status phase, I am done because vampire bite me. Uh, <laughs> I have to keep this card. Oh my God. So let's see. Armor is four and I get seven, but I can pay three of these and that would be four and I would pass the test so I don't keep this one it just goes over here and this is most unfortunate so now we are at the phase where it says one so if I roll this dice and if it's one the game ends and if it's not one we continue play and we continue playing so the next card is exit finally we are out and now you saw why you never entered the dungeon even if you have the best ideas and everything i mean you can find loot worth four thousand gold but you really don't want to enter dungeon because i don't know i thought it would be much easier but it turns out it was not that good so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i have eleven dungeon cards which means and just one second we have an unannounced guest so the my my parents cat is now with us and if i didn't let him in he would meow uh, outside the doors for hours i guess so he has to rummage around a little bit check out my game stuff like that and there's fur everywhere my god okay so how do you uh, exit the dungeon you count all the cards come on he's now going out see he's just crazy cat so how do you exit the dungeon so you take all these cards one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you you take all those twelve cards you point yourself in any direction you want and you move that many spaces so i will just keep these cards for the reference even though they are of no use for me and I will go 12 spaces in this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I can decide to do a 90 turn. And I will do a 90 turn here. And then I throw one or two dice. Let me just quickly check again. I need to check all these little rules. Because, you know, uh, retaining a 2 and moving where else? Exit in the catacombs. So, I basically uh, put a direction where I want to go and roll one dice, and I move that many spaces in that direction, and that's where I pop out, and it's over here, and I find this thing. And since I came from this direction, I put it like so and we are finally out but <laughs> that doesn't matter because we don't have any gold from this room which means we can't end the game which means that we are going to die in these dungeons so we found the crypt you may explore the crypt for a treasure if you choose to do so draw one crypt card and i will not do that because i really want to live and uh, yeah that is basically that so turn two we roll a die it's five 
that means that we continue playing and we don't need torch anymore yeah i had one more for the torch but it doesn't matter 12 was already here if it was 13 i would just stop so nothing would happen and that is that so we are going to explore over here and we are going to find a corridor which means that we continue our moving let's explore this one and we find a round room of sorts we don't draw any cards or anything so that's really nice and if this stuff would stop meowing that would be really good for him but this room does something really interesting it says it is a rotating chamber so rotate your chamber the chamber 180 degrees at an end your turn which means i will have to rotate it like this and my turn is over and then we go over here on three and i roll this dice and it's four so we are still playing just four four and we are going to go and try and explore over here and we find this room which is really good and uh, because it goes all the different ways and we go for the passage down place a catacomb entrance marker on this chamber so yeah <laughs> We can go in the catacombs on this style too, even though we don't want to do that. So now it's fourth turn. We roll the dice and it's a one, which means that the game is over. And we die in the dungeon with 4,040 gold, unfortunately. So yeah, this was a run, run of the life, so to say. Uh, <laughs> and we didn't manage unfortunately so yeah, as you can see this is a pretty hard game it's pretty punishing pretty random all over the place and i still like it i still enjoy every little bit of it except this cat meowing like crazy give me one more second somebody let him in and uh, i had to ex escort him out so yeah what was i saying so yeah this was dungeon quest it is such such a fun game i like it i i know i shouldn't be liking it everything about this game is crazy but it is so much it is like just if this dice will be on your side you will have fun if not you will not have fun but i still have fun i don't know how many times i have to say that i'm feeling like i'm making excuses for this game but i'm not it's really not that good of a design it's really random and punishing and uh, if you die in a dungeon you die you can't play play anymore other players playing there is player elimination that's usually a bad sign at least in my book but some somehow i like this one i mean you, there is an optional rule where you can just uh, discard each every card you have and start from the start of your dungeon but uh, this room can easily kill you this room can easily do you like for example what can happen in one of the scenarios let's say it happens like this you go and explore this room and it's a dead end right or, or maybe it goes like this i don't know uh, however you want and let's say you find a corridor that goes like this and then you enter and you enter in this room which means from here you enter here you rotate 180 degrees and you are stuck you can't go anywhere and if you reset if you go over here and you reset you basically can't go anywhere because there is no doors to anywhere and you are basically done it's game over so you can play three turns and completely be blocked uh, things like this don't happen i saw it only once and i played this game a few times so they don't happen but uh, yeah so that is that that is dungeon quest uh, so head out uh, to my community uh part of the youtube on that community page and vote which game do you want me to play next uh, either solo or maybe with slaven or maybe with somebody else who knows who will show up and uh, if you want to see some of this stuff earlier please do consider supporting me on patreon because there you can get this stuff a little bit early and all kinds of different things uh, will show up there as we grow as a, as a community as you support me more and more there is going to be more and more stuff on the patreon before it goes here on the channel you will get all sorts of things in advance and yeah that is that 
Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for considering supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for spending your time with me. And uh, that is that. Until next time. Pozdrav.